Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Empress Series 88. My name is Tanya. All right, so let's call in spirit. Let's get this party started. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you tuned in. Timeless reading, so whenever you press that play button, I believe that spirit was motivating you to do so, and I'm so happy to have you. Please like on the way in. It gives me an energetic donation to the channel. It helps me tune into you. So let's call in spirit, shall we? Spirit, guides, and angels of your whitest light, please give me a clear message for the collective, one that brings healing, understanding, and hope of their situation. Please protect me as I channel these messages, and please protect my beautiful collective. Thank you, Spirit, for all that you do. Amen. All right, so collective readings, any energy, any sign. Energy does not have a designated gender, but if I do say he or she, please excuse and forgive. It is not intended to exclude anyone. Okay? flip the roles as you see fit. I could be saying you and meaning your person. I could be saying your person and meaning you. And take what resonates and leave the rest. If this doesn't, the shoe don't fit or quit. This doesn't resonate with you. Check your placements. You could have more than one astrological sign in your chart. So let's get to it. Spirit, give me some messages please for the collective here. One that gives them some understanding of their situation. I get a lot of cards here. I got my rabbit hole deck, so should be interesting. Hi, right, Spirit, give me a message, please. Yeah, they want to come out, definitely. A message is coming through, man. Oh my goodness, here we go. Of course. Secrets. We communicate in dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Under your spell. Overthinking. Any more, Spirit? Any more messages, Spirit? Thank you. We got competition, empowerment. Forgiveness is at the bottom of the deck. And oh my goodness, so much. Oh my gosh, spirits. Wow. So many cards wanted to come out. Secret love. Oh, this is a lot. <sighs> but I'll take them sleepless nights being at the bottom of the deck again because everything went all over the place. We have forgiveness that came out from the bottom to the top. Healing generational curses, always important, always good. I tried to make you jealous. <laughs> Your laughter drives me wild. Attention seeker. Financial lack. Self-worth, low confidence, broke, non-committal, spiritual awakening, reconciliation, toxicity, feeling trapped. Third party. That's why they're feeling trapped. <laughs> But they're also trapped in toxicities. You know, they weren't committal to you. They didn't want to settle. They have low self-confidence, which made them that attention seeker. They also are in financial lack in this connection that they're with the karmic. But they tried to make you jealous by putting you in competition with another person. They want your forgiveness, though. It was a secret love. Maybe they didn't even tell you that they liked you. But you became empowered. You know? They're under your spell. Because you're unforgettable to this person. They communicate telepathically in dreams. But there's secrets here to this person's toxicities. Maybe you didn't know about this other connection that they have. They're overthinking it. 
you became a different person. That's healing generational curses that's getting spiritually woke. They broke. And they want to reconcile with you now. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's go into the tarot. I got judgment. So there was a judgment in this connection. And I believe it was your person that judged you as not the right one. You were lacking in the areas that they felt necessary. Or it was their perception of lack. Now they know different, but back then, that's what made them either change their mind about you or not pursue you at all. It'll be different for each individual. We have also at the other end, so we have the two, one, two, double hitter, Ace of Cups, which is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. They have these feelings for you that they can't deny. That's why they're watching you. And that's why they can't sleep at night thinking about you. And that's why they want a reconciliation with you. So they judged you incorrectly. They judged poorly. And that's keeping them... I don't know, double... I don't know, they just... Double confirmation of that I'm seeing here on the decks, but it's not coming out yet. I'm, not, I'm just shuffling and it's coming out again. So it's like, this individual really was in your energy at one point. They were they were giving you time. They were giving you their, their time, attention, what have you be. It could have been for some of you sexual as well. They went You went on dates with this person. You hung out with this person. They really put on a show like they were here for the long haul is what I'm getting they gave you that impression you really fell for this person and they made it out to be like they were falling equally for you only to pull the rug out from underneath you and choose another person hmm. and walk away from this all together and but you are the high priestess Bottom of the deck, high priestess, gang gang, baby. Spiritually woke. Keeper of secrets. But they're a keeper of secrets, too. But it's the toxic secrets, the dark energies, the non-conventional lifestyle that this person entertained. That you didn't know about. That they didn't show that side of themselves to you. Is what I'm hearing. But yeah, give me some more information on the tarot. Thank you. We have King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Very intelligent person. A materialistic in a sense. This person can be all about the Benjamins and gaining accolades. You know, gaining recognition for their hard work they want to pursue things of that nature the material world employment that type of thing very hard working person all about saving investing that type of thing but reliable in those areas but not when it comes to love they can not take it or leave it but they're more realistic and more head over heart they're not going to get emotionally attached and involved like other kings of the deck, like the king of cups, so to speak, the king of wands. But you're their star, and you might be getting, like I mentioned, publicly recognized. But there was the moon here as well, in reverse. They want to speak their truth to you, but they were deceiving themselves into thinking that there was others that were out there that could have been a benefit. And maybe other people threw themselves at them and claim to be better than you maybe you were friends with somebody that went after your person pursue them
there's a death coming though, a change, an epiphany, a transformation. Maybe you transformed and maybe you walked away or this is something that's going to happen because this is past, present, and future energy involved. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. They're planning to come towards you. They're reflecting on the connection. But Seven of Cups in the reverse, there was all this desire and lust and temptations that distracted your person. Ace of Cups is here again. Yep. Yeah. New feelings. Feelings that are just overflowing for this person. That they can't deny. Even though they've tried, they can't forget you. But they felt, as it says before, a mental prison, trapped. Eight of Swords. Yep. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles, though. They want prosperity with you. They see prosperity with you. They want to hook hook up with you and perhaps work with you on a project. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Because you are the Empress as well as the High Priestess. Fertile and give birth to ideas and create creativity and things of that nature that just bloom under you. People bloom under you. You just make people feel good. Feel better when they meet you than before that. And they see that from a distance. Ace of Swords are very charged, though. They want to break through in this connection. Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Hierophant is in reverse. An unorthodox lifestyle is what I said before. The Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, they have a lot of energy and passion for this, though. They really want you. Now, they want to be the fool. They want to take that leap of faith towards you. In the past, they held back. They held back their truth. They held back their emotions. They didn't reveal their secrets to you. They kept them under the vest while they played the field with other people. Two of Swords, yeah, they're at a crossroads as to what to do, a, a difficult decision, painful choice, maybe a choice between two, you and another person. Mm. They might have more of a, not connection with, but they might have more ties to, is what I'm hearing. That's too many spirit. Too many. All right. Let's wrap it up with the tarot here. Yeah, there was unfairness here. Six of Pentacles in reverse and unequal give and take. Queen of Swords in the reverse. A manipulative, deceitful person is what they chose. Someone that's codependent on your person. And cold-hearted. High Priestess, come out again. This is who you are. This is what you stand for. This is what you represent. Highly awoke, spiritual have a lot of knowledge, maybe more maturity than your person. And they're viewing that, and they're seeing that, and they're liking that. But not necessarily coming towards that. It's something that they are watching from a distance, is what I'm hearing. Wanting it, but not sure if you're going to reciprocate at this point. Maybe you're more guarded against this person based on their actions. Yeah, two of pentacles in the reverse. There's a lot. Of, it, they feel very overwhelmed. They may be pretending that everything's going on great and not allowing anybody, anybody to see how unhappy they are. But they think about this connection with sadness is what I'm hearing. High Priestess came out a third time. My God. They didn't use their intuition when it came to you. You were the better choice. But they were looking at it aesthetically. And how this person presented themselves. Offering themselves up on a silver platter to this person. And they took it. You know? It was all sexual energy that created this separation. But it needed to happen. Where you are is where you need to be in your journey. Because everything is about timing. You know? The moon, yeah. Deceptions, secrets, illusions. This is what this person was under based on other people's lies. Based on what other people said to them that they wanted to believe. 
Ace of Wands in the reverse, you know. There was misunderstandings and missteps in this connection between the two of you. And they realize that. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Maybe you withdrew. Searching for something else. Because this person wasn't ready, willing, or able to offer you anything of real meaning. The two of Swords again. Queen of Swords in the reverse again. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Delays bad timing and broken communication all came up here but you're moving forward in your spirituality and you're gaining and having success look at this nonsense always on the bloody floor i can't can't the strength card is here and what is this one the ten of wands in the reverse lying carelessness yeah they were careless with you they were careless with your heart i can't even believe this high priestess is still here on the bottom of the deck my goodness it's just standing out and it's just saying to me emphasizing over and over again how your spirituality has been a huge part of your growth and your betterment and how you are standing out to other people other people are noticing the changes in you and how you have elevated the game baby just by being moral i'm hearing in my mind and just spiritual teaching people and really opening up minds of individuals you might have a platform yourself and people are watching you some in envy because they just can't help it but others just in wonder of your communication skills how you present yourself and the knowledge that you have in certain areas it's so attractive to people. Not just your person. Other people are noticing what you have to offer. And they're liking it. They want to come toward you too. There's a lot of respect that you have earned because of your knowledge and your craft. Good for you. Good for you. Alright. So keep going and move forward in your life this person is trapped in their head and trapped in their mind about you they're not ready and you have a choice of waiting for this person or moving forward but moving forward is going to help you in a lot of ways to gain those blessings from spirit that are, they're trying to give you expanding on whatever it is that you're learning right now and it's going to draw in people of like-minded energies like-minded energies but also it could be a high level soulmate coming in not necessarily this person because they're still on a journey of understanding of the toxicities that they bring to the party and they're in a connection with a person and possibly children in a family with this person that they are I don't know like not baffled but they're not sure how to get out of it So they're not available right now, you know, and then they're going to heal from whatever it is that the toxicities that they have uh, been influenced by. So it's going to be a while before your person steps up. You can wait, but I know some of you are like, I'm not waiting and I don't blame you. You know, waiting and staying stuck never helped anybody. 1919 on the clock. But that's your choice. Free will is at play. So let's get one more affirmation card. A couple of affirmation cards. Angel cards. To close this out. But there was a lot of hurt feelings. And a lot of left unsaid. In this connection. There was secrets. And illusions. And a masquerade of sorts. You thought one way. They thought another way. So there was miscommunication there as well. And misunderstandings in this connection. 
maybe you thought they were all that in a bag of chips and then the air deflated out of the bag and you realized what you had left was crumbs. That's all they were giving you. And you decided, I'm going to hit the road. Based on that, or they left you high and dry and you had no choice but to keep walking. Either way, it was devastating. Either way, it was shocking. But this individual has now revisited this connection over and over again in their mind because they're mentally trapped thinking about you. They're paralyzed thinking about you. And they can't do anything else, whether they want to or not. Guarded and protected. That might be what you are now. Guarded and protected, and they're afraid to come towards you based on that behavior, based on the energy that you're putting out there. Maybe your social media posts, whatever the case may be, because they're watching you, right? You might appear very guarded against this connection. Honor and trust your feelings. Always, amen. Use your intuition when it comes to this person if they come towards you as to whether or not they are true to their feelings. Have truly changed. Yeah, And then it says, ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. It's always good to ask your spirit guides for help and protection and guidance when it comes to any step that you want to take because they're going to point you in the right direction. Find the blessings in your current situation. Yeah. Even though sometimes it might be hard. You know, it might be very difficult to see the good in the situation or the lesson in the situation if the, or even the blessing in the situation. But there was a lesson and there is a blessing for you moving forward. Trust that spirit has your best interests at heart. Even though it might appear like they're not listening or they're not helping you, there's more action in the background than you're aware of when it comes to this connection. It's very protected. You are very protected. And there's blessings here, 22, 22 on the clock. You are going to have blessings in this situation. Just have faith going to work out in the end and I'm not saying with this person I'm saying in the end it is going to work out for you always believe that in your heart that way no blockages can get in the way of your abundance because you deserve to have happiness even if it's not with this person even if this person doesn't see your worth God sees your worth. Thank you so much for joining me on Empress Aries 88. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe. I'd love to have you. Till next time. Be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.